Hi, and welcome to the Colonel Cast, your spot for the latest news and notes from EKU Athletics. I'm Dan McBride, and the Colonel football team is headed back to the FCS playoffs again this year. The Colonels won their 20th Ohio Valley Conference football championship with a big win over UT Martin to close out the season. And today we are very pleased to have on the show senior safety Brandon Gadoff, who was very instrumental in the Colonels uh, winning that final game and moving on to another conference championship. Brandon, welcome to the show. It's, it's good to be here, Dan. Let's, uh, let's talk, first of all, before we get to the UT Martin game, which obviously was a big game, let's talk about the season and, and really the turnaround. You guys start one and three. A lot of people had, had lost confidence and mm -hmm. were worried about even having a winning season. What kind of kept the team going at that point? Um, you know, the biggest thing that kept the team going was the seniors. Uh, this senior class has, has done an amazing job in, in not letting the things slip away because it, it, one and three, two and three, you know, feeling like 0 and 5, uh, it's very easy to just let the season slip away, and we were just determined not to do that. You know, I don't, I don't know if I've ever been a part of a season, uh, you know, like this one. Um, you know, it's good to go 8 0, it's good to start off undefeated, but when you start off and have some adversity like we had, um, it's just, it's, it's, it's a better feeling in the end when, uh, when you do win and when you do prevail through, through things like that. Well, as the season kept going, you could sense and see that the team was getting better, playing better. How did it feel as a player going through that stretch of winning seven straight eventually to win this, to finish off the season? Um, you know, it, it was an amazing feeling because, uh, you know, when you can feel when you can feel the team buying into the system and feel everybody getting better, um, you know, that's a great feeling. You know, you can't ask for anything more as a player when when you can feel the team getting better, um, and you know. Last year, I felt like we were at our peak kind of midway through the season. This year, I feel like we're, we're at our peak just now. We're peaking right now at the right time, and that's, you know, that's when you want to peak is, is the last game of the season heading into the playoffs. Well, you go to Tennessee Martin with the OBC Championship on the line. The game comes down to the wire. It couldn't have been more exciting. You get a couple of interceptions, run one back for a touchdown, block the final field goal. So uh, for you, it had to be a thrilling day. Yeah. Um, and again, you know, it's just a, a testament to, to the seniors and, and the preparation that, uh, that the entire team put in uh, versus Martin. You know, we prepared more for Martin than we had any team. Um, not to say that that game was more important than, you know, say Tennessee Tech or one of the previous games, but, um, you know, it's just a testament to the team and the seniors and, and the way we prepared because, you know, when one person makes a play, it's not just because of that person, it's because of, you know, the teammates that, that helped put the pressure on the quarterback and, and things like that. But, you know, it, it was good. Uh, you know, if you could, if I could paint a picture and, you know, that would be it, you know, to, to go out that way. And, uh, you know, we're, we're definitely not out yet. We, we still, we feel like uh, there's a lot of football left to be played. Well, there's a perfect finish to the regular season, but you're right, there's more to play. Mm -hmm. You find out that it's Richmond where you're going to be going for the first round of the playoffs. You know the Spiders, you were there last year. How do you feel about going back to Richmond? Um, you know, we, we, feel, we feel good about them. Uh, you know, we really don't know a whole lot about them right now. You know, we know they, they've got a pretty good quarterback that came back that played really well last year. And, um, you know, we, we, won't get, we won't have to get used to the surroundings as much. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to feel comfortable because we've been there before. Um, and, you know, we're not worried about last year. We're focusing on this year. It's a new year. Um, you know, we're going to feel more comfortable in the playoffs, uh, and we're definitely going to feel comfortable down there at Richmond. Well, Brandon, congratulations. It was a great season, and good luck as you try to win another championship. Okay, thank you. Senior safety Brandon Gadoff telling us about an exciting EKU football season. That'll do it for this edition of the Colonel Cast. Don't forget you can catch all of the latest news and notes, news and notes by visiting EKUSports.com. For the Colonel Cast, I'm Dan McBride. Thanks for watching.